Hey guys, Lim here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my GTA San Andreas Let's Play series, and this is episode 39. Now, last time we uh, left off by meeting quite a strange combination of characters who were sort of all related to the truth in a way, I guess. That's probably why they're so weird. And, um... The first character, well, the last character we sort of met was Rosenberg from Vice City. Uh, I take it he's sort of tangled in with uh, Tommy Vercetti still, because I think Vice City was set in the 1980s, and this is sort of the 1990s, so I think uh, I think Vice City was 1980s anyway. So he's sort of uh, come from Vice City to San Andreas, which I don't know if it's a very good move, but, uh, you know, so that's Rosenberg. And then we met Paul and Macker as well, who are sort of uh, typical Englishmen, really, sort of uh, the weirdos of England. And... Um, it, it's pretty awesome, uh, because Danny Dyer, I'm pretty sure, is the voice of uh, Paul. And um, it's really awesome, because uh, Danny Dyer is sort of one of these South London hard nuts actors that you look up to in England, because he's sort of one of the tough guys. And um, him, actors like him, such as, like, uh, for example, Jason Statham, Vinnie Jones, Ray Winston, them sort of South London hard nut actors that you look up to over here in England, because they're sort of tough characters, their acting style is very, you know, typical South London hard nut gangster, that sort of thing, and uh, it's really awesome to, you know, hear Danny Dyer's voice in this game as a as an actual character, which I'd never known, I, if, if, you know, when I was playing this as a kid, I would have never known it was Danny Dyer, because you know, I weren't watching them sort of films when I was, you know, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, anyway, we're going to head into this casino here, which I believe is the Sandaco family's casino. And this is where Rosenberg, uh, Paul and Macca are sort of negotiating. I'm not really sure how they're sort of tangled in with the Sandaco family. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Sandaco family's casino. The, the Sandaco family, the uh, family which is trying to wreck our business, trying to take us down. So, I take it CJ sort of got the idea if he can worm his way in through Rosenberg, Paul and Macca by maybe making friends with them, because uh, they don't seem too bright, uh, but you know, if we can maybe worm our way in, we can sort of bring this casino down from the inside, much like we did with the Loco Syndicate, so uh, we're sort of using what we've already learned in San Fierro in a way, so uh, yeah, we'll get straight on with this mission, and it's called Intensive Care. Oi Rosie, liven yourself up, Carl's here. <sighs> Hello. What's then? Hey, you some top fanny down at that pool, Pabsy. Eh? Oh, leave it out, Dimlo. What's wrong with you? Well, are you going to tell him or shall I? I'm really screwed. Crack on, Rosie. Spit it out. I threw it all away. Okay. I had the power, the money, the ladies, but I couldn't lay off the blow. So I went into rehab and everything went to shit. But so what? So when I came out, I started representing the Liberty City mob again. And that's how I ended up here. But no one family would trust another family to run the casino. So I was put forth as a neutral party. So now I spend my days waiting for one family to cap me and blame the other one. My only friend is a bird named Tony. I never fucked anyone over in my life who didn't have it coming to him. Shit, let me think about this. You're going to have to break it down for me real quick. Okay, okay. The Sindacos are on the warpath. Okay, I mean, something terrible so has happened to Johnny. I mean, he's in a shock-induced coma at the hospital across town. Now, the Ferrellis, they will take this opportunity to rub him out. Now, if any hit between the families succeeds on my turf, I will get the axe, bullet, machete, Okay, whatever. okay, relax. I'm gonna shoot over to the hospital and move the body or something. There you go, my love. Things ain't so bad, are they? <sighs> Bada-bing! Right, so uh, it looks like find a ride and go and pick up Johnny Sindaco from the hospital. So Rosenberg has just explained it quite well there. Uh, he is a mutual party, so he's not really one of the bad guys. He, uh, as he, as he said, he sort of he had you know everything with Tommy Vasetti. He he had uh, you know all the power, the women, all the money, all that stuff, and he sort of couldn't stay off the drugs. So he went into rehab, and as he came out, he acted as a mutual party for uh, the Sindaco family. I can't remember the name of the other family. And um, I think he's sort of running that business uh, as a mutual party for both of these Liberty City Mafia gangs. It makes sense they're from Liberty City because they're sort of Italian Mafia. And that's sort of the sort of a, a theme of Liberty City with sort of Russian gangs and weird sort of different types of, uh, you know, cultures and things. So uh, it looks like we're here at the hospital. Did it say, I can't, what was the guy's name? I can't remember the guy's uh, the you know, person's name. You need a vehicle to pick up Johnny. Okay, his name's Johnny. Uh, so this Johnny guy, I can't remember his second name, 
I don't know what's actually going on here. I, I, I was just focusing on what Rosenberg had to say about uh, why he's there. So uh, we'll take this ambulance right here and see what's going on. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to pick up Mr. Sandako. Mr. Sandako? There must be some mistake. An ambulance just picked him up. Oh, okay. Thank you for your help. Okay, so... So his name's Johnny Sandako. I take it he's probably... If it's a Sandako family, he's probably main... He might be the boss. He might be the main, you know, one of the sons of the boss. Uh, it must be the mafia that took Johnny. Find the ambulance. So get the oh, I see. I think I understand. So the enemy, you know, the rival mafia gang of, of the Sandako family have taken Johnny Sandako maybe as hostage uh, uh, that's my guess anyway and we've got to try and find him in, in one of these ambulances so again uh, as my luck <laughs> as you know if you've been watching this series my luck with uh, you know choices in terms of which one should I go for first is never right it's always the last one that I pick it just happens it's always I don't know if it's meant to be that way or if it's just my luck uh, around the ambulance and see how the driver reacts well they're two ambulance drivers so they don't Johnny must be in one of the other ambulances. This one's a real deal. So we're crashing into real ambulances to find a typical, you know, a mafia member. Okay, the mafia have alerted by a distress call from the ambulance you just hit. Oh, this game's quite realistic, actually, if it's doing all this crap. Um, okay, so find the actual ambulance that the mafia have taken for their escape. There's quite a lot of choice in this game in terms of which one. Like, uh, there was... The, well, at the car dealership mission, we had to pick which crane, you know, which one to pick up first with the crane to find the car. And it's always the last one, as I've said. <laughs> I don't know if GTA means for that to happen or if it's just my luck. Knowing me, it's probably just my luck. But uh, we'll, we'll find it in, uh, eventually. So, this Johnny Sandaco guy, I take it, we're trying not to... If he gets injured, then uh, I take it Rosenberg is to blame. So... We're trying to help Rosenberg, I take it, and I don't know how, why we're trying to help, because I think I thought we were trying to take down this place. Okay, we've got to ram it, I take it. Johnny must be in the other ambulance, okay? This one's a real deal. So, just my luck as you... I wonder, I wonder, if we would have gone to this one over here first, would that have been, you know, the same as them two, or, or would it have just, like, spawned... So I'm not really sure. It, all I know is that, as usual, it's the last one I choose. Just my luck, eh? But, anyway, we'll carry on. So, um... To be honest, I don't really know how Kent and Macca, Kent and Paul and Macca fit into this uh, situation with Rosenberg. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't see how they how they became to know each other. Probably something to do with the truth. Probably something to do with the truth. That's my guess anyway, because the truth is com this is probably all wound up by the truth. The truth is complete now. As I said, it keeps popping up in random places, which isn't really helpful for us. Um, okay, so this one is the ambulance we're looking for. Looks like this is the ambulance that took Johnny. Smash it up a bit and show the Mafia you mean business. Okay, we'll smash the ambulance up. We might hurt this uh, Johnny Sandako guy, which isn't good uh, for business, I take it. So, one ambulance against another. We've got the same amount of damage, so this could be quite interesting. Uh, okay, I don't really want to run over a cop. I think that was a cop. Where is this you can tell it's not an ambulance driver. Why? Who shoots guns from an ambulance? Come on, that's not fair. God almighty. Come on, we need to take it down. So, we I don't know if we meant to... Oh, okay. Quick, get in the ambulance before the backup rides. We'll take out these guys. Oh, God. So, these Mafia guys, uh, the cops are there. And, uh, oh, God almighty. We've got to run over these guys before we get killed. Uh, I'll take out... I don't really think... Is it a good idea to run around the corner and take him out? Now we've got the cops on us, so that ain't good. Uh, I really can't... I can't get in here. The cops are right there, so this might be an ambulance versus cops situation. Uh, drive Johnny back to the meat factory. Are we going to have to be careful about how we drive? Well, I'll take it no, because we just crashed the ambulance up. So, if he's injured, he's probably injured 10 times as much now because we just smashed the ambulance up but who cares it's a mafia gang member who cares so as I said Johnny Sandako the, the, the way the, you know his second name is Sandako so he's a main member of this family he's an actual family member he's not just one of these you know people who try and get into the families you know uh, a member they they try and act, this is a literal literal actually you know an actual family member so he's quite important to the Sandako family and I take it maybe if we save him uh, hang on, looks like some backup has arrived. Get Johnny back to the meat factory. I oh, just realised we've got to get into the meat factory. What a typical place for a mafia gang to hide out and, it, you know, torture someone. That's my guess anyway. So, um, what's actually happening? I thought I heard him talking. Okay, I'm not going to bother shutting up for them talking because they barely talk. So, uh, Johnny Zendaka, I'm just trying to w get my head around this entire situation. So, we've gone from helping Wootsie and being a partner in our own business to 
to helping out Rosenberg in another business with some issues he's having with this Liberty City Mafia gang. And I don't know this, knowing GTA and the you know the flashbacks he's trying to bring back with Rosenberg and Claude and things. I, I haven't played as I, I've completed GTA 3 on my iPad as, as I've said in. Uh, one of the previous episodes, but I can't remember a Sundaku family being mentioned in GTA 3. I could be completely wrong. There probably was. It's just I can't remember. So it looks like we got to drop Johnny off here at the meat factory. So let's see what happens. Hey Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was gonna be discharged till tomorrow. Okay, uh, mission pass five grand. Uh, oh shit. Look on the map, guys. Top right, uh, top right, no, top left. That is a ten penny mission. Uh, I don't know how they appear. They just come out of nowhere. Uh, I'm gonna leave ten penny as I did back in uh, Los Santos. Uh, I tend to leave ten penny away. I know he's probably a main part of the story. That's probably a reason I should leave him. Just you know, try and get these Rosenberg missions done first, and see where that leads us in terms of the business. So. We got Johnny Sundako to safety, we got five grand for our troubles, and I take it we're going to be involved with him somehow, and it looks like Rosenberg did say if, you know, he's probably most likely to get taken out by one, uh, you know, by one of the gangs, uh, so they can frame the other and start this, you know, war. Because I think these two mafia families who are, who are running this uh, business, uh, this casino, don't like each other, that's my guess, but I don't know why they're trying to get into a, you know, a mutual agreement with Rosenberg and try and run this business, because obviously it's not going to work if they don't like each other and they're trying to cause havoc with each other, but I've got to say, this is a really nice casino, you've got to admit, I think it's nicer than our one anyway, that's my personal opinion, it looks more professional, and uh, you know, Las Venturas is... Part of, I'm pretty sure it's a recreation of Las Vegas, which, as I've said, is awesome, and I think there's sort of got the feeling right and they've got they get the uh, ambiance as the French would say they get that pretty much spot on with all the gambling you can do in the mini games and all that sort of stuff so anyway we're gonna carry on with these Rosenberg missions I take it they're Rosenberg missions uh, and yeah let's see uh, what happens with this Sandaco situation the meat business oh, <laughs> baby I'm back I am back Let's get this show on the road. The good doctor has revived the patient. Thank you, Sweet thank as my you, son. Thank Sweet. You. So I'll be dang straight now? No! Absolutely not! I'm still screwed! Absolutely screwed, but at least now I'm in the right frame of mind! <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do? Any minute now, some mafia bullet is going to splatter my brains all over the wall. My wall. My beautiful wall. Ooh, you missed a bit. I love that. Forget about it. Oh, that's a great idea, Tony, but you know what? It ain't gonna work, okay? Not this time. No way, no way. Look, man, relax. Get a grip. Yeah, you're right. I need to get a grip. Take control. Yes, grab the bull by the horn. And show everybody who's boss. I'm the boss. I am the boss. All right, then. All right. Let's tear this that's town up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so where we going? Details! Details! Let's just get there! Rack em up, Macca. What's the matter with ya? Uh, <laughs> this ain't gonna end well. You can tell straight away. Take Rosenberg to the abattoir. Uh, what's an abattoir? Am I just being... Is that a normal word? I don't think it is. So, Rosenberg, we've sort of motivated him up to acting like a boss. Acting like the person he should be acting like. But this is Rosenberg. Uh, if you played Vice City, you must know that he's sort of this... He, he, nervous, he's, he always sounds like he's having a nervous breakdown. He, he's always worried and, you know, confused and anxious about what's going to happen. And we've sort of... CJ's motivated him up to acting like he, he's high He's high at the minute. Just come out of rehab and he's high. It's a typical GTA character situation. And uh, he's sort of... He's high and he thinks he's the king of the world. I really hope he doesn't go and confront the Mafia boss because that could end badly for us and I don't know why CJ's motivated him but um, sorry I'm talking over these two I, I don't think they're talking about anything important apart from the fact that they're probably gonna get screwed in the arse uh, by what's about to happen that's just my guess anyway so um, the, the mission is called the meat business so I'll take it we're heading over to the meat factory where we just saved uh, Johnny Sandaco's life now that Johnny Sandaco I saw you saw him in the wheelchair he didn't look that old, did he? And normally, you know, mafia bosses are these old. As you, if you've seen The Godfather, you know, The Godfather is this old sort of wise character. He doesn't do any of the dirty business himself. He just orders others, and they're sort of they look scary, but they don't they 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 don't act. You know, they 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 act. Their words speak 
louder than actions in terms of actions speak louder than words. They actually, their words mean more than their actions. So, uh, looks like we're heading into this meat business place uh, with Rosenberg. And Rosenberg, please just keep your mouth shut. Don't say anything. Probably let CJ do the talking because he's probably uh, less on drugs than you, I take it. That's my guess. What's going on? Did you forget something? No, look. You go on in. I'm going to wait. Uh, look, you gotta come with me this once. If I pull this off, I can carry on. I know I can, but please, you gotta come with me. I, I, I'm gonna squirt my ass all over the floor. Just this once, please. Please, please. Okay, please. okay, chill. <laughs> Shit, this can't look good. Listen, everything gonna be okay. Just remember, you the boss. I'm the boss? I'm the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss! I am the boss! Oh dear. Hey boys, tell your boss that Ken Rosenberg is here to see him. Ken who? K K Ken Rosenberg. <gasps> Ken Rosenberg, the guy that runs this town! So, uh, how's Johnny? Yeah, he's doing much better. Huh. Yeah, he ate something this morning. Oh! Huh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ken! Oh, my Christ, this fucking thing. <laughs> Ken, come on, stay. Yeah, how you doing? Pretty good. And you? Ah, I still got a little bit of the night terrors, uh, <laughs> touch of diarrhea, but I'll get through it. Huh, diarrhea. Cool. And, yeah. uh, who's this? How you doing, Johnny? It's fucking him. It's him. Oh, oh my head. Oh, God. It's him. It oh, my heart. My heart. Damn, that nigga fucked up. Um, I don't know what just happened. It looks like we've sort of... What's happening now? We've we got to escape. That is the first person we've killed in GTA without putting a bullet through their head. Uh, that's quite an achievement, I think. We killed him. I don't know why he's so worried to see CJ. We saved his life. What's wrong with that? Uh, okay, so, as I said, this isn't going to end well. The guy's running towards us with a chainsaw. That's not good. I've got no armor. Uh, all these people are trying to kill us. Uh, that guy is trying to chase with a bat. So, I take it we've got Rosie. Rosie, what a name uh, to keep. A nickname for Rosenberg. So, we've got to protect Rosie, as it seems. He's got a fire extinguisher. He's actually quite helpful. We've got the health here. No armor. Um, if he takes... It can, is he going to... No, you're just gonna... Oh, shit, okay. So, as I said, that Johnny Sandaco, he looked like a teenager, didn't he? He looked like a kid. He didn't look like the boss, but it looks like he was. So, um, I've got to get this fire extinguisher, I think, and get rid of that fire, but I've got to take out the guys on the other side of the fire first before I get shot in the face. So, that's a quite worrying how CJ managed to... Oh, that guy's managed to get himself in there. That's quite clever. Uh, so, it's quite weird to think that CJ... I don't know. I'm a bit confused to why CJ caused Johnny Sandaco to have a heart attack. Rosie, so what are you doing? I'm on your team. Stop it, you prick. God, I've got to get my breath back now. Okay. So as I said, typical play. Oh, Rosie, stop it. I've had enough of your shit. Just stop it, okay? Okay. Can I go through? Thank you. God almighty. So we've got to escape with Rosenberg safely and protect him. Uh, I think he's got full health at the minute. Uh, I've got no armor, and but I've got quite a few decent weapons, so it shouldn't be too much. Actually. Rosenberg is... Uh, going to hide, I hope. Anyway, so, I, I, again, I'm confused why he had a heart attack because of CJ. Armour, 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 armour. What a lovely place. This is, have you ever seen the film Saw? You must have seen the scene, uh, Saw. It, you know, it reminds me of that place, that bathroom they're locked up in with all the blood. Ugh, that's disgusting. But, uh, oh shit, okay, um, this could end badly. So we'll just pop their heads off. Look, no heads. No heads. Italian family, you know. They, they, these guys are Liberty City gang members, I take it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Rosenberg was going on about. And, um, they are dangerous. They're not to be messed with unless you're CJ. Uh, because... You don't want to mess with CJ. We, as you know, we've been, we are CJ, so you don't want to mess with us. Uh, so basically, we're trying to escape. Uh, I've got armor now, so I'm well protected. I've got this awesome M4 uh, carbine. I remember I picked that up, which was pretty awesome. And we're just taking out these guys, as I've said. It's a bit tough, actually. There's quite a lot of them. We haven't had a major gunfight in quite a while. Uh, we had sort of, sort of uh, a bit of a big gunfight back at, when we had to get them fake chips get rid of, you know, we had to get, dispose of them, oh god, he's up there, brilliant, so, uh, 
again, this is quite a big gunfight. Uh, I don't know if there's any more useful things around here. Health armor. But, um, okay, can we climb on top? Oh, there's someone up there. I just saw him. Uh, where is he? There he is. I'll try and take his head off. Hey, uh, so how's the wife? Yep, yep, that's nice. Okay, uh, so how are your kids? They, they, uh, they, uh, living well? Yep. Mm, yeah, okay, we'll take your head off and we'll carry on. So, the next guy seems to be... Why are they all up on the crates? You think that... Oh, God, that guy's not. Uh, okay, we'll get him quickly. Him and don't ever turn your back on a gunfight, my friend. First rule, uh, all the witnesses are dead. Head for the exit. So, somehow we've killed Johnny Sandaco. Uh, we did actually kill him. He had a heart attack and... I don't know how that's our fault, but we're probably going to get in the shit for it. And, again, I don't know why he had a heart attack because of CJ. Maybe because CJ is the one who stole him, sort of, in the back of the ambulance. I'm not sure. It's all a bit confusing. We'll take Rosie back, I take it, to the... Um, yeah, drive Rosenberg back to the casino. So, Rosenberg, it wasn't the greatest idea to come and confront uh, the Mafia bosses it seems uh, we'll see what they've got to say shall we be back to Caligula's. you calm down and follow my lead oh good mark man we work well as a team together huh cj you and me airing this town up nobody can stop us nobody in the world johnny's a done deal and so is his gang too fucking right they are dumb pussies oh fuck i'm screwed i'm fucking screwed what the fuck am i gonna do shit 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 you just gotta hang in there Play it dumb. I'll figure out a way to get you out of this. Just drop me at the airport. Nah, man. They gotta think you did. I think of something. I promise. Okay, so as I said, Rosenberg always sounds like he's having a nervous breakdown, which he always sounds anxious and worried, which he should be in this match, to be honest. But he's he's literally always like this. And uh, I I CJ just said that uh, Johnny's. I think he said Johnny's history, and so's his dad. So I don't think Johnny was the boss. Maybe he's over here acting for his dad maybe his dad's not available maybe his dad's ill like uh, you know he's not available to come over and sort business out that's my guess my guess is the he wasn't a boss I, I thought he wasn't he looked like a teenager so we'll drop rosenberg off here uh we'll see what happens get in there and be cool like you've just been out for a relaxing drive or something come yeah come i'm calm real fucking calm i'm calm mr calm mr calm that's me mr calm <laughs> Eight grand. I do love Rosenberg. I gotta admit. What's the D stand for? Okay, there's a D over there uh, and ten pennies mission. So we'll we'll do that for the next episode. But I gotta say, I do love Rosenberg. You gotta admit, he brings back a lot of memories from Vice City because in Vice City, I think you spend the majority of the story around him uh, as Tommy Vazetti. So yeah, it's great to see, as I said, characters coming back from previous GTA's, and it's great to see the Rockstar do that. And hopefully, they might do that in GTA 5 with the GTA 4 characters. I'm sure they will. Uh, I don't think you will be, will be seeing Nico and Roman. More characters, maybe like Packy, uh, who we saw leaving. Uh, the airport at the end of GTA without ruining anything. That's not a spoiler or anything. We see him in the credits leaving uh, GTA 4. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We've learned quite a lot in this episode about the Sandaco family and why Rosenberg's here. Kent and Paul, we still don't have a clue what their uh, role is. And the truth is just sort of probably high on drugs somewhere in the middle of the desert doing some yoga. But we don't know. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. For oh, we got a phone call. That was lucky. I was just about to end it. And that guy's going to start on a cop. That's not the greatest of ideas. I know it's you just sticking what you gotta say. I ain't interested in the stupid games. Stupid games? This is my heart you play with. What? Look, you damn. Gotta change my number. Yeah, CJ, you're right. Yeah, got that's the third time she's rung us up about nothing, and that was a pretty interesting cop fight right there. So, uh, yeah, I'll end it here before that guy starts on me. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Remember, feel free to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Also, feel free to like my Facebook page, where I'll be posting my latest videos, news and info on GTA as well as other games. So again, thanks for watching, and have an awesome day!